In this question, we have to determine the admittance parameters y11 and y12. First, let us define them. Okay, i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2. i2 equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2, where i y11 is equal to i1 by v1 when v2 is equal to 0 that is when the output is short circuited similarly y22 is equal to i2 by v2 when v1 is equal to 0 first we will be considering the uh, case when v2 is equal to 0 in order to determine y11 okay so now v2 is equal to 0 okay let us draw the circuit when there is a short circuit applied across v2 okay we have a one farad capacitor and then a resistor here one ohm and then a capacitor here two farads okay and then the resist okay now this is two two dash one one dash Okay, this is V1, this is 1 farad, okay, now we have, okay, before that this is 1 ohm, now there is a short circuit here, okay, now if we can observe clearly, okay, this resistor has no significance, that is, this resistor and this capacitor are in parallel, okay, so V1 is equal to, Okay, while calculating v1 what we will do is we will take this current as i1 okay and first this uh, 2 farad capacitor is in parallel with this 1 ohm resistor okay and then that particular equivalent impedance is in series with this 1 farad capacitor so v1 is equal to i1 into okay determining the equivalent impedance of this whole circuit 3s plus 1 by s into 2s plus 1 so how do we get this this is after simplification of all these resistors and uh, uh, capacitors impedance okay so y11 is equal to which is i1 by v1 is equal to s into 2s plus 1 by 3s plus 1 okay now we have determined y11 we have to determine y22 okay for that what we should do we have to make we have to make v1 is equal to 0 so when we make v1 is equal to 0 okay our circuit will look like this see there is a short circuit in the place of the voltage source which was finished initially present no voltage source in fact in in place of one one dash okay See in two port networks there is no voltage source we can assume it wherever we want to help us in calculating the parameters 1 farad so this is V2 now we have to find Y22 okay Y22 which is equal to I2 by V2 when V1 is equal to 0 right now what we will what we have to do is same like the previous case we have to determine the equivalent impedance of this whole branch okay of this whole branch a whole network in fact and then we know v2 is equal to i2 into the impedance of the whole network so when we calculate z equivalent okay first this capacitor is in parallel with one ohm resistor right so that expression for impedance for that particular equivalent impedance is 1 by s into 1 which is 1 by s divided by 1 plus 1 by s and that is in series with the 2 farad capacitor so plus 1 by 2 s and that again is in parallel with 1 ohm resistor so that is in parallel with 1 ohm resistor correct now if we take the if we find the equivalent impedance we will get it as 3 s plus 1 by 2 s square plus 5 s plus 1 
okay now what is y22 it is the inverse of it okay 2s square plus 5s plus 1 divided by 3s plus 1 so the correct option in this case is d